Hi, it's Steve from Transparency. Today I put together a short video that has two parts. First, what is aquaculture? And second, why should we as consumers learn to care more about it if we're going to keep this planet livable for the next generations? The term aquaculture, not too different from the word agriculture, represents the cultivation or farming of aquatic plants and animals. Some of you may be familiar with aquaculture, as it's used to produce things like those oysters that have become super popular at happy hours, shrimp at the all-you-can-eat buffet, affordable salmon around the globe, and other fish that may not be as high value but are important to our diets and our economies nonetheless. Those fish might include things like bassa or more commonly tilapia. What you might not realize is that aquaculture is also vital to the production of many other things, such as pearls, seaweed, seahorses, and other fish species that we associate with wild, such as grouper, snapper, and even sometimes bluefin tuna. While it's been around for centuries, aquaculture really only began to be commercialized and scaled in the 1980s, as wild-caught fisheries began to plateau. Despite advances in fishing technology and fisheries management efforts, wild fisheries have simply been unable to pull more fish from the ocean. Meanwhile, aquaculture has rushed to fill the demand of a growing population with a growing taste for seafood. In 2015, global aquaculture production by volume surpassed cattle production. And today, aquaculture produces more than 50% of the seafood that we consume. It represents one of the fastest growing food industries on the planet for the last 40 years. Now that we have a basic understanding of what aquaculture is, let's talk about the second half of this video. Why should we care? Why should anyone make these videos? And why should people watch them? Well, for starters, Aquatic plants and animals are among the most resource-efficient organisms on the planet. On one end of the spectrum, you have cattle, which use around 10 pounds of feed to grow one pound of cow. The FCR of fish on the other end are around one to two, depending on the species. This doesn't take into account other resources, such as water. Cows, for example, use between two and 3,000 gallons of water to produce one pound of meat. While fish farmers, with the right technical knowledge and understanding of their system, can recycle almost all of the water used in culture. While nature provides these evolutionary efficiencies for us to take advantage of, not all aquaculture is performed responsibly. Farmers and farm owners who push to maximize profits above all else often lead to vast destruction of natural resources and other issues which we will later get into. While a proprietary farming technology at Transparency produces top quality premium shrimp and seaweed, our mission extends far beyond just producing a few thousand pounds of shrimp per month. We invite other producers with similar mission and values to tell their stories. And most importantly, we invite consumers to start now, to educate themselves, to better understand how it is that our food is produced, so that we can hold these hundred-year-old supply chains accountable. At Transparency, we believe the knowledge is power, and that rising tides can truly lift all boats. Please help us generate that rising tide. Thank you, and stay tuned for more videos.